So we hear from traders all the time who are looking for a reliable weekly option strategy that they can employ to meaningfully supplement their weekly income. I'm the head trader on SMB Capital's options trading desk here in Manhattan, and I would say that that quest for weekly income is the most common reason that we're contacted here on the option side of things. This video is about a weekly strategy that has actually performed quite well over the last 12 months, and I'll show you that in a minute, but there's something extremely important to understand about this. And and really all weekly strategies that may not be readily apparent. So stick around. I think you're going to find this intriguing. Hi, I'm Seth Freuberg and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan, and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world, trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. Now, I'd like to suggest that you click on our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free trading videos that we produce for the traders and investing community all over the world. They're really very valuable. Okay, so we were contacted this week, as we are most weeks, by one of our YouTube followers who shared with us that he's been exploring weekly income strategies using the SPX index and was asking if I could suggest a particular weekly strategy where he could earn $1,000 per week trading that strategy. And the honest answer is that I've seen dozens of weekly option strategies on the SPX over the years. And while there are a number of them that have shown promise and solid returns, all of them have one particular property that is crucial to understand that will emerge as we show you the strategy, but it's really important that you watch this video all the way through. You're gonna miss a very important principle, and it would not be a good idea if you didn't understand that principle before you started to trade this or any weekly options income strategy on an index. Now, most of you are probably familiar with index options, which are the options that we'll be using in this example, but there may be some who just have a passing knowledge of how they work, so I'm gonna do a quick basic review of the basics so that you'll be able to understand this strategy. For those experienced options guys out there, don't worry, this will be quick, and then we'll jump right back into the guts of the lesson. So, you are probably all familiar with how equity options work. With equity options, a call buys you the right to buy 100 shares of a stock at the strike price of that option any time before the option expires, and a put option entitles you to sell 100 shares of stock at the strike price of the put before that option expires. But there are also index options, which work similarly to equity options, except there's, there's no such thing as 100 shares of an index like the S&P 500, so you can't really buy or sell 100 shares of an index. But what you can do is get paid in cash $100 per point if the index expires above the strike price of an index call that you buy, or alternatively, you'd be paid $100 per point for each point in the in, that the index drops below the strike price of your index put. So for example, if the X, SPX index is trading at 3,000 and you buy the 3010 call, if the SPX goes to 3015, you would receive $500 in your account. If the index closes at 3010 or lower, your call expires worthless. On the other side of the ledger, if you buy a 29.85 put and the market sells off to 29.75, you'd make $1,000. But if the market just sold off to 29.85 or higher, the put would expire worthless. So those are the basics of index options. Okay, with that in mind, we can jump into the particular SPX weekly strategy that has performed so well over this last year and take a deep dive into how it works. But before that, I wanted to mention that we're currently running a two-hour free intensive workshop at the moment where we'll be teaching you three more real-world option strategies that professional options traders use, including a really simple but incredibly effective strategy that some of the greatest investors in the world, like Warren Buffett, use all the time, plus an options trading strategy that has a statistical 80% probability of profit month in and month out, plus an option strategy that you can employ with the stock that you like where you'll make your target profit whether the stock goes up, goes nowhere, or even goes down a small percentage. So if those strategies would be of interest to you, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing right now at the top right-hand corner of your screen. 
that will open the free registration page in the new window so don't worry you won't lose this video or you could just go on ahead to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop it's a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from wall street traders but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop so click the link to sign up now and don't miss it okay so this particular strategy is what is known as a weekly broken wing butterfly and it is normally entered approximately two weeks before the friday expiration of the in sbx index options now Almost all online brokers that offer options trading have a field which gives you an estimate of how much an options price will move based on the movement of the price of the underlying instrument that the option is derived from, which in this case is the SBX index. So let's take a look at an example of a weekly broken wing butterfly 14 days out from its entry. So as you can see, we picked a trade started on November 15th and the trade involves a broken wing butterfly trade for the options chain that expires on November 29th, two weeks into the future. Now let's drill down and understand what's going on here. As you can see, the SPX index was trading at 3109 on that day. So the first thing we do is to find the 10 delta puts for that week and those in this case are the 30, 40 puts. So we sell 20 of those and then we move up five points to the 30, 45 puts and buy 10 of those. Finally, we move down as many strikes as we have to to buy the put option that leaves us with at least a $1,000 credit for the transaction. So let's break down why we made each of the decisions upon entry. Okay, so as, as we said, we're going to sell the 10 delta option at the outset of the trade. Well, that option's price is $7.20 and we sold 20 of those and each option represents a value of $100 per point for a total amount of $14,400 of cash we received for selling those options. At the same time, we buy 10 of those options, five points above the options we sold and those were going for $7.70 per, per put option, which comes to $7,700 for those 10 puts. And then finally, remember, we were going to move down the chain further until we found a put price at a low enough price that we would be left over with at least $1,000 after we bought it. Well, in this case, that turned out to be the 3020 put, which was going for $5.40 at that time. So if we do the math on that one, it turns out to be a total cash cost of $5,400. So if you now add them all together, we're left with a credit of $1,300 and that cash goes right into your account at the outset of the trade. Now the rules of the trade are simple. Once the trade is up $1,000, we exit and take our $1,000 profit. If on the other hand, the trade is drawn down, we exit at a loss no more than $2,000. Okay, so now let's move forward to 10 days later on November 25th and you'll see that the SPX index has rallied to 31.22. Well, there are only now five days left before these options expire, and the highest of the three puts, the 30.45, is now 77 points below the market. So in this rally, the market is not giving much value to that option. It's only valuing it at 70 cents, in fact. Whereas when we first bought it, we had to pay $7.70, if you remember. So that option price is just tubed which makes sense given how close we are to expiration and the fact that the market has rallied away from those strikes. And so, of course, the strikes below that are going to be even cheaper because they're even farther from the market. And as you can see, the 20 short 30, 40 puts have dropped to 65 cents and the 30, 20 long puts at the bottom of the trade, they've dropped down to 45 cents. There's just too far for the market to go and too little time left for the options to retain much value. So let's break down exactly why we hit our target profit on this trade. When we first entered the trade, remember, we collected a credit of $1,300. Well, to close this trade, we basically have to reverse each original transaction. So when you do that, you all see that the 3045 put has dropped to 70 cents. So since we're long that, we're going to sell it and receive $700 in cash for that, as you can see from the calculation. And then you'll also notice that the 3040 put has dropped to 65 cents. And so to buy that back, we only need to spend $1,300, which is way below the $7.20 uh, price that we sold them for. So we made an excellent profit on those 20. And then finally, those 3020 puts at the bottom, well, they have dropped to 45 cents. 
so we only receive $450 when we sell those. So if you add up all of the debits and all of the credits of closing the trade, you can see that we're left with $1,150 of our original $1,300 credit that we received initially. So this trade hit its target profit of $1,000 or more. So we ran a test over the last 12 months, which included incidentally a big portion of the sell-off that took place at the end of 2018, especially around Christmas, as well as numerous other periods in 2019 where we had sell-offs such as in May, August, and October. And nonetheless, the trade held up remarkably well. In fact, the trade was exited at the profit target of $1,000 or more, 41 out of the 52 trades tested, and exited at a loss of $2,000 or more on 11 of those 52 occasions. The total profit during that period of time, according to our test, was $22,815, and we're estimating pretty conservatively that your broker would have required you to dedicate about $28,000 of your capital to the trade throughout the year. So that comes to an 81% return. So now what is the crucial takeaway from this video? Remember, this all started out with the premise that the trader wanted to figure out a way of pulling $1,000 a week out of the market through an option strategy that does not require a directional opinion. And we showed you a strategy where you could have made over $22,000 with $28,000 of capital. Well, if the trader had put, say, $65,000 into the trade instead of $28,000 like we did in our test, if you do the math, that would have produced about $52,000 of profit over the past year, which is $1,000 a week. So could there be a way of pulling $1,000 out of the market through an options income strategy? And the answer is yes and no. Yes, over the long haul, you would have averaged $1,000 a week of income doing this trade. However, in some weeks, and sometimes multiple weeks in a row, you could have lost 2,000 or perhaps more if the market gapped through your stop, which does happen in some cases and happened in this back test. To think that you would have pulled $1,000 out of the market each week like an ATM machine is magical thinking. It doesn't work that way. And you can't plan your life and your finances around finding a strategy that will just pay you $1,000 a week like a paycheck. The good news is that you can get there, but not in a straight line because you will have both winning weeks and losing weeks. So yes, you can have a strategy that has a target of $1,000 a week, and that target can be very frequently achieved, as was the case with this example today. But you have to understand that on the way, you will have losing weeks. If you can't accept the losing weeks and you don't plan your personal cash flow around that eventuality, then you shouldn't be trading. It's as simple as that. But if you're mature and you realize that with discipline, you can find strategies that will yield, on average, $1,000 a week over a long period, like say a year, then you're on your way to being a realistic trader with mature, realistic goals. In fact, those are the very kinds of traders that we like to have on our trading desk here at SMB. Now, just to remind you, as I said earlier, if you enjoyed this video and learned something valuable from it and would like to learn the details of three real-world option strategies that professional options traders use all the time, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free registration page in a new window so you won't lose this video, don't worry. Or you can just head on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It's really a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street tra traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. Okay, so if you like this video, please make sure to press the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of our future content. And also play, please make sure to comment below with any comments about what you learned from this video and what are other topics you might like us to cover in future videos. Until then, from all of us at SMB, trade well and make some improvement in your trading approach each day so that you can become an elite trader, which is what we wish for every one of our subscribers.